rapidly increasing social and managerial issue with its effect impacting greatly in the workplace. Managers need to be aware of this issue in order to work towards accommodating a heavier workforce. New Zealand Department of Labour have identified the three main characteristics contributing to this issue. These are an increasing trend in longer hours of work, advancements in technology, and the shift away from industrial and agricultural sorts of work to service-based work. New Zealand is ranked 10th in the global obesity scale, and figures from 2006 to 2007 show that 1 in 3 people are overweight and 1 in 4 people are obese. We asked Dr. Deesh to elaborate further on this issue. Obese people are more likely to be diabetic, have heart disease, strokes and high blood pressure. They can also get more injuries at work and otherwise. What this means for a business is they take a long more time off for sickness. At a global level, many organizations are becoming involved with this issue indirectly. The World Health Organization, for example, provides advice as to how obesity can be reduced through ways such as implementing supportive environments in communities, participating in physical activity, and making healthier food choices. They emphasize the importance of these recommendations at a societal level. On a micro scale, individual businesses are also becoming involved. Many now provide healthy snacks such as fruit for employees, provide employees with cheap gym memberships through corporate collaborations, and there is evidently an increase of corporate sports teams. Despite this, many employees and managers struggle to find enough hours in the day to properly implement and follow these strategies. JD here works in an office. It would take him 81 minutes of vigorous calisthenics to burn off a medium-sized Big Mac combo. Alternatively, it would take him nearly 23 hours of excessive typing to burn off that same Big Mac combo. We spoke to Ken Scott, owner and director of B Mobile, to find out why managers and employees may struggle to meet what seem to be relatively simple strategy guidelines. Um, when I've been good, um, <laughs> salads. <laughs> when I've been bad, potato top pies. Today's Friday, so we're having um, pizza uh, pizzas from hell. Uh, no, no, I should do, but I don't. In the mornings, I uh, don't make lunch for myself. I make a good, healthy lunch for my son, and then I come to work and I decide on on the spur of the moment what I'm going to eat, so there's not much uh, planning that goes into it. I don't usually take time out, I just go out, grab lunch and come back and work at my desk. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's really a mixed blessing. Um, being my own boss means that I can uh, take time out to do stuff when I need to, but as you get busier, with it being a younger business that's getting busier and busier, it gets harder and harder to take time out because it becomes a a priority um, at the lower end of the scale. Yeah. So business comes first, customers come first, stuff like that. Our recommendations for managers are as follows. social issue with lifestyle implications that will only get worse without managers implementing change now. The responsibility falls on the individual to maintain a healthy lifestyle, however with increasing hours spent in the workplace, the responsibility is also falling onto the structure of the workplace. It is combined efforts of both employees and their managers to work together to maintain a healthier life and productive environment without discrimination. And on that note, I'm going to take my own advice. Oh